Hi, it's Randy Wicker. I'm here at uh, Rainbow Book Fair in the LGBG Center in New York City, and I'm talking to Charles Rice Gonzalez. And I see here it says Latino Latina Queer Writers Collective. Yes. Um, it's basically a group of uh, queer Latino writers and Latina writers, and it's really an opportunity for us to come together and also um, to just let the community and let the, the writing community know about the queer Latino writing that is going on in terms of poetry and books, etc. And so, um, so it's really kind of a grassroots effort that we're putting together, a group of, a group of us. I saw that you had uh, this, 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 were you the ones that led to this getting to the other publisher? Um, yeah, this is my book. Um, oh, I it's your book? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. So I wrote the book, and yeah, no, I've known uh, Don YZ for a while, oh. and um, I had the great uh, opportunity to have him publish the book with Magnus Books. Oh, wow. And uh, did you see the movie Gun Hill Road? Yeah, I did. And I mean, that's about a trans, that's in Bronx, a Latino, mm -hmm. focused in, uh, you know. Also, have you uh, uh, seen the, the incredible movie that's going to be the sequel to uh, 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 Paris is Burning? It's called uh, Leave It on the Floor. No, I have. Oh, um, it was here at the New Fest Film Festival last year. It's no. absolutely incredible. No, I haven't seen that film. Oh, yeah, I saw. I saw another film. But anyway, but basically, one of the other things that um, that we did that kind of sparked this kind of Latino writers coming together uh -huh. was an anthology called From Macho to Mariposa, which was produced by published by Lethe Press, and um, and that's 29 gay Latino writers, and there hadn't been one of those books in over 11 years that it had come out and. They were in 99, the last time a queer Latino writing collection had come out. So for us, it was really important um, to have that and also to try to perpetuate it. And My, my, my friend Edward Lacey translated a book called a, a Garcia Adonis Gar oh, yeah. Garcia. It's, yeah. a, it's from Latin America. Yeah, that was like in the in the 80s or 70s, right? Right. And it was Sunshine Press, I think, did it? Yes, yeah, yes. right. Yeah, I'm familiar with that book. Right. Sylvia Rivera was a good friend of mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, she worked in my store. She was my best friend. She mm -hmm. went down to the Latino, uh, 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 down to talk to Latino activists. And mm -hmm. She was the activist yeah. uh, of well, the year. Sylvia Rivera was an important person in lesbian and gay history here in New York City, right. and particularly important to the you know queer Latino community. She was one of the trailblazers. So, you go to the Bronx Pride last year? Absolutely, I go to the Bronx Pride every year. I covered that and have a few videos up about that in my channel. Oh, terrific. You can check it out. Excellent. Well, thanks so much. I really and appreciate it. And if people want to contact you, where do they do it? Um, they could either, they can contact me directly. I'm Charles Rice Gonzalez. They can do it through my website. Or, um, and then uh, there is a Facebook page that's called Queer Latino Writers of New York City. They could also contact us through that Facebook page. Okay, so now folks, if you're interested, you know how to connect with other uh, people that are interested in uh, gay Latino, queer Latino, or Latina writers. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. We can put this on YouTube. Oh, cool. And I'll link it to my page. <laughs> oh, wow. Promotion. We're scratching each other's back hard yeah. here. Thank you very much. You're welcome.